a phone call. It seems so simple, but that's all Rapalus Ivanauskas wanted. After years of battling shoulder injuries and recovering from surgery, after procuring a transfer to leave his hometown school of Northwestern for Colgate, and after submitting a third and final waiver attempt to save his junior season, all Rapalus wanted was one phone call. On November 8, 2018, hours before the first game of Colgate's Patriot League Championship season, the phone rang. I got a call around 2 o'clock, and it's Aaron, our compliance officer. She said, Rap, you're cleared. You're playing tonight. <laughs> and I, I was, I was, I was maybe the, one of the happiest moments of my life. Ivanowskis, who was cleared just today, he was at one point out of high school, number five recruit in the state of Illinois by ESPN.com. Could be a valuable addition, and he shows off his offensive moves, low post there for the two. This is the happiest moment I seriously I've ever had. I called my dad, I said, I'm in tears. And I'm, I said, Dad, like, I'm playing tonight. Like, you're gonna see me on TV. And he, he's, he just starts just yelling in the house. He just starts yelling, like, yes, let's go, yes. My mom's like, what's going on, what's going on? She hears the news and she just, she just breaks down crying and we're all so, so happy. I'll never forget just going to that game on the bus ride and I think one of my friends had, had tweeted it saying like, Rappos is playing tonight against MGIT. And I'm on the bus ride and my, my phone's exploding with all my loved ones saying like, I can't wait to see you play tonight. And I felt ready to go. I felt like it was two, three years of, of talking, of, of injuries, and of, of faithfulness that was just ready to come out that night. Our compliance office and our athletic administration worked really hard in the process of preparing the waiver and, and working with the NCA and their task force on figuring out the nuances of the situation. And then so there was a lot of back and forth over a number of weeks, but we did kind of have an idea. We were going to find an answer whether that was going to be, you know, good or bad. So, you know, there's there was a chance that it was going to be good. We certainly didn't want him to have to miss out on the opportunity. And he was ecstatic. I'll, I'll always remember his excitement on that day when he found out he was going to be able to play. Rappel has totaled 16 points and 13 rebounds that night and continued to shine all the way to being named the Patriot League Player of the Year. 125 days after that fateful phone call, he celebrated Colgate's first Patriot League championship in 23 years. To have the season I had, it was it was unfathomable. Like, no, no one could have written a better story. I remember I, I had a, a pretty good start. Then it was game to game. It was iffy and non-conference. And I started conference off. I was just okay. And I think the game that did it was at Bucknell. And the crowd was it was a great crowd and a really good team. We ended up losing, but I felt like I had a very good game. And I just had this confidence about me. Like, you know, like. I, I know what I believe in. I can do it, you know, we, we can do it. We can win a championship. We can, I can have the year that I want to have, you know. I've put the work in and, and people believe in me. My coaches believe in me. My, my teammates believe in me. And that's what we did, you know, game after game. We just ended up, ended up winning and winning and ended with a, a long winning streak. And every game, I just felt so grateful that I was, I was one, I was healthy. I, the two, like I was, I was playing well. And, and three, that I just had got to do it with the best teammates I've ever had. That probably leads me to the most, probably to the most misfortunate day of my life. Big story in this one. Rapalus Ivanauskas out, an eye injury, contact lenses, couldn't see, tried his glasses. That didn't work. Did not score a point in this game and did not play in the second half. Essentially what happened was we were set to play Tennessee in March Madness for NCAA tournament. A really sad moment was I see, I look up into the stands and I see my family there and I look at them and they're all excited for me like, let's go, let's go. And I just, I look at them, I'm like, I can't see. I, I don't know if I can do this, you know. I wish it was something like an ankle. I wish it was my, something like a shoulder where I could, it's just pain where I can fight through and whatever. But this is, this is your eyes. You can, if you don't have your eyes, you can't play. And then, then I was, the, the game ended. I didn't want to do any interviews or anything like that. And, you know, I talked to Coach Lang a little bit. I, honestly, I was in full jersey, my shoes, grabbed all my things, told Coach I need to see my family right now. He said, yeah, go do that, and just left. 
I was going through the people leaving the game and people entering the next game. Everyone was asking me questions and whatever. I just put my sunglasses on and I'm like, I need to find, I need to find my family. And thankfully, my girlfriend's dad is an extremely good doctor and he was at the game. So he prescribed me some pain meds and some drops, which helped tremendously, but didn't really help till, till later that night. So I was good after that, but very disappointing. You know, Rap and I have talked about it a lot. And you know, we both, you know, feel strongly that things happen for a reason. So, you know, maybe that's a little bit of motivation or, or, or what have you as to what his future or our future is going to hold. I guess one thing is I just want to dedicate to my parents is like the struggles I had weren't even close to the struggles they had. Like they grew up in the Soviet Union, which is, which is a, a place that I don't think we can even imagine now. The struggles they had of being two young adults raising a, like a, a kid like me and not having a the best financial situation, not speaking English well and in a foreign country and I learned how to work hard from them. I learned, I'm so, so grateful to them for what they've done for me and the lessons they've taught me, whether I like the lessons or not, there will always be such a big influence and I always find them, I love smiling at them. You know, after, maybe after making a big play or when I'm on the bench, I'll smile at them. They're always on my mind, they, they, they constantly motivate me and always there to do what's best for me and I'm, I'm so indebted to them.